Driving a car in snow is a skill that often goes against all common sense. You need to turn into a skid instead of jerking the wheel to get out of it. In older cars, you pump the brakes, but in new cars, you slam on the brakes. One electrifying innovation is taking some of our winter driving worries away and could be changing the rules of the road forever. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. When it snows, streets, highways, and bridges can become slick and dangerous. Obviously, keeping road surfaces above the freezing point of 32 degrees would help. But hardwiring millions of miles of streets and overpasses in the U.S. for electrical heat would be next to impossible and expensive. But an engineering professor at the University of Nebraska has come up with an innovative way to keep roads and bridges ice-free. And it starts at the very beginning when the concrete used to build them is made. Conductive concrete is regular concrete with about 20% of electrically conductive materials in composition, which enables the conduction of electricity. I traveled to Omaha, Nebraska to meet Dr. Christopher Twan, the man standing behind and firmly on conductive concrete. So what is concrete made of? Regular concrete uh, contains limestone, sand, cement and water. And what does conductive concrete contain? Uh, regular concrete is not electrically conductive. So to make it conductive, well, you have to add some electrically conductive components. And what we add is steel shavings mm -hmm. and two types of steel fibers and carbon particles. So these are highly electrically conductive. The mixing process is the same as standard concrete. You embed two steel rods in the conductive concrete and you connect it to a power source and the electricity will go through the conductive concrete. Conductive concrete itself is a heating element. Because of the resistance, it heats up and the heat will propagate to the surface to prevent ice formation. Is there any concern about getting electrocuted? It's safe to the touch because the human body is about 10 kilo ohm. Uh, resistance and conductive concrete is, uh, has uh, less resistance uh, so the electricity is going to go through the slab instead of a human body. Ah, okay, so it's not like touching a live wire. No, no. Dr. Tuan worked with the Nebraska Department of Roads to test conductive concrete on a bridge near Lincoln, the state capital. When a winter storm was forecast, the bridge was preheated to about 45 degrees, preventing snow and ice from accumulating. The bridge trial was so successful, Professor Tuan was asked by the FAA to build a tarmac test pad in hopes of using conductive concrete at airports to help reduce flight delays. How has this tested here? The, the icing performance is fantastic. The FAA is now considering further study at a major airport. Conductive concrete's got a lot of steel fibers that intermingle together, so they tie together and the resistance to freeze thaw action is very high. So the conductive concrete usually can last for at least 15, 20 years without cracking. It saves time, it saves money, and it saves lives. It can also help give some weary snowplow drivers a nice little vacation. 